Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to see the nucleo with this module. Let's get started with it. The module I'm going to use is this one. The other side. I'm going to send simple Hull ITOS transmit. You can use uh, DMA or interrupt. The frequency I'm going to set uh, 16 kilohertz. So the data we need to transmit double the frequency interval. That means 32 kilohertz. So the time interval is 1 divided by 32 kilohertz. That is 31.25 microsecond. So what I do is I set a timer interrupt for every 31 microsecond. In the cube ID, I will show you how to do it. Over the wiring diagram, it's V into 5 volt, ground to ground, D into PC1, BCLK to PB10, LRC to PB12. The wiring connection is here, the module, here, and here we connect the speaker, these two pins, connect the speaker, and the nucleo, power and ground, and the other pin, and these two pins are here. Now I'm in Cube IDE. If anybody want to know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Let's click File, New Project, STM32 Project, and click Board Selector and put Part Number F446RE. This is the one. Click Next. I put uh, Speaker for the name. Yes. Click Multimedia, I2S2 and Mood Half Duplex Master. Uh, configuration, Parameter Setting uh, is a transmit is OK, Philips and 16 on 16 and this frequency is also 16 kilohertz. There's a little bit error, that's OK. Now we see the clock speed. I'm going to use timer 2 for the interrupt. Timer 2 connected to APB1, that's 84 megahertz. So we go to pinout on configuration, click timer, timer 2 and uh, clock source, internal clock, uh, click the global interrupt, tick and parameter setting, prescaler because that's uh, 84 megahertz, I'm going to use 84 minus 1 which is 83 and the uh, counter period 31 for uh, 31 microsecond interrupt. Uh, yeah, that's all the setting. Make sure the NVIC is ticked. Uh, we can click save. For simplicity, I have given the code in my website. Link is in the description below. This is the one. The diagram is here. The QID setting is here. Make sure you have done everything correct. And uh, the code is here. Uh, in the user code begin PV, we have to put the uh, sound code. I'm, I keep the sound code in this one, this button. Click the button and select all and copy. And uh, we paste in the cube ID the same place. Go below. We paste it here. Yeah, done. Uh, now go to the website. In the user code 0, we copy this and paste it in user code 0 and uh, in the user code 2 we copy these two lines and we paste it in the user code 2 that's all the code we can click save in the 2 uh, I start the timer so it uh, fire the interrupt every 31 microsecond so whenever it interrupt happen this function is called so if it is timer 2 the data should be uh, 16 bit data so I have the sound file in 8 bits so I combine two of them these two and these two like this and then I transmit using I2S transmit so one 16 bits, so that's why it's one. This is a timeout. Um, yeah, I think that's all. 
let's upload the code click ok yeah it's uploaded i have uploaded the code you can hear the sound here thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i will try to answer as much as i can thank you bye